Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use WhatsApp on your Mac. The application is called What's Mac, which is obviously specific for the Mac. With it, you can send free messages and share photos and videos, all that, just like you would on the mobile version of WhatsApp. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it up. Like I said before, the application is called What's Mac. This is what it looks like. You can find the download link over at Gadjax. Before you can sign in, you'll need to have created an account on your smartphone, so either on Android or iOS. I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it up with Android. All right, so here I've got the Note 4 and here is WhatsApp. If I tap on it, you can see that I'm logged in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to click here to reload the QR code. And on the smartphone, I'm going to tap on the three dot menu. Then I'm gonna tap on WhatsApp web. And now I'm gonna scan this QR code. And you can see that instantly all of the conversations that were on my smartphone show up on the Mac. And from there you can start messaging. So I can just enter something. Hit send. If you look back on your device now, you can see that the message that I just sent also shows up here. All right, so for all you users that have WhatsApp on iOS, I've got some bad news because there is really no official way to set up WhatsApp with What's Mac on your Mac. Luckily, there is a workaround and it involves using Chrome and an extension called Arc Welder, which you can use to run an Android app on your Mac. We've covered how to use Arc Welder in the past, so if you guys don't know how to use that, you guys can head over to Gadgetax and read all about that. So while I couldn't get it to work on my laptop, the way to do it is to run WhatsApp on Arc Welder. So here you can see WhatsApp running in this window. And from there you sign in just like you would on your smartphone. And when you're finally in the app, you click on the three dot menu in the top right, just like you would on Android, which will bring up the QR viewer. So the QR code viewer will show up as your webcam. So the next thing that you would do is that you would set up a mirror so that the webcam could scan the QR code here. So you would just hold a mirror up here and it'll scan from the webcam to the QR code and allow you to log in. I know it sounds kind of tricky, but it has worked for other users. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex. All right, thanks guys.